Now, staying with the U.S. Defense Chief's visit to Seoul, so he's widely expected to deliver a clear message regarding the Trump administration's security policies and North Korea's continued military threats, like Connie Kim just reported. Our defense correspondent Kim Young Bin takes an analysis. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis arrived in Seoul on Thursday afternoon for his first overseas trip since taking office less than two weeks ago. While all eyes are focused on what results the talks will bring about, one expert offered his predictions. North Korea has been enhancing its nuclear and weapons of mass destruction capabilities, and Washington wants to strongly counter those measures, which seem to be the reason why Mattis chose Seoul as a destination for his first overseas trip. Mattis met with U.S. Forces Korea Commander Vincent Brooks and was briefed on the current security situation on the peninsula. That includes the speculation North Korea is preparing to launch an intercontinental ballistic missile to mark the birthday of late former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. On Friday morning, Mattis and Seoul's defense chief Han min gu will sit down together for the first defense minister talks between the two countries under the Trump administration. The two are expected to discuss ways to better counter North Korea, and some say the defense cost-sharing issue could also be discussed, but I believe it's too soon for that. The talks will most likely focus on North Korea's threats. Shortly before landing on Thursday, Mattis told reporters that he and Han would discuss the planned deployment of the THAAD missile defense system on the Korean peninsula to better counter North Korea's growing nuclear and missile threats. The two defense chiefs are expected to release a strong joint statement warning Pyongyang against future provocations before the new U.S. defense secretary heads to Tokyo for talks with his Japanese counterpart. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.